this morning I'm down on the Oregon coast. Um, I was already down here for an engagement shoot, but now, since we're not doing anything for sunrise, I'm going to take full advantage of it, see if I can find a compelling composition here in these sand dunes. But I have about an hour, as you can see, um, some pinks are kicking off behind me. Got about an hour until sunrise. So let's see what we can find. Try and not have a bunch of dog and people footprints. So Whew. this is steep. Oh here we go. So, it's super difficult to try and find a composition out here because it's not just sand dunes, it's this sedge grass, this beach grass that lines for miles along the dunes. And there's no obvious compositions because there's, there's no S curves, there's no leading lines. And then you also have to take into consideration the impact of people because this is a state park. I mean, there's footprints everywhere, there's dog prints everywhere, there's garbage. It makes it extremely difficult. There's no obvious composition. And as you can tell, it's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Um, with wind chill, it's probably right around freezing. It's definitely a little cold, so it's keeping the hands warm, all that. So, gonna push on. Still got about half an hour, 40 minutes until sunrise actually happens. So, see if I can find a composition that I like, if one that I feel will do well. And I'm a little bit of a time crunch now. But I'm not sure if you can see, but in the background, got some nice atmosphere, some nice clouds rolling in to the mountains. And then we got the bay right over there. And of course, I left the super solid photo back in the tent. But I've got my 70 to 200. Maybe it'll allow me to photograph a little bit of that atmosphere if it's still there after the sun comes up. Let's go. composition that I like. Uh, one thing I, I had to remember is to not just look in the direction that the sun is going to be rising from, but also look back because so this, we got this really nice soft pre-dawn light that's being cast over these grasses. It just gives it this most beautiful light golden tan glow while in the shadows it's this nice deep blue green 
and it's, it, it's very complementary colors. What I found here is a bit of an exposed sand dune that kind of curves around through the image as a leading line. It's not perfect. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to incorporate it. I kind of like this setup here because this front set of grasses in front of me is diverging. But we'll do a test shot and see how I like it. Exposing for the landscape can be quite difficult, especially when the weather does not want to cooperate. Sometimes the decision must be made to sacrifice part of the exposure triangle in order to achieve the best shutter speed. For this image, I had to sacrifice both my ISO and my aperture in order to get a fast enough shutter speed to freeze the motion in the grasses. My final image will have a bit of grain due to the high ISO, but I'd rather have the grain than the motion blur for the situation. So one of the major downfalls about doing this type of beach photography is that when it's windy and it's pre-dawn, everything's blown in the wind, especially when you're on one of the apexes of sand dunes. So it's definitely a challenge. Unfortunately, there are absolutely no clouds in the sky that I can see. And so what I'm gonna have to do there is, I'm gonna have to try and remove as much sky as possible gonna have to try and use as much sand and grasses as a leading element in these images rather than the sky. It happens. The coast has its own idea of weather, same as mountains. So keep hunting on, see if we can find some other compositions because I'm not completely happy with this one. So let's see what else we can find. So I'll be honest, I'm struggling. This is tough. There's no obvious compositions. All the nice sand dunes have so many footprints all over them. Uh, it's tough, it's tough. Uh, we do have some banding going on now. Uh, it looks like there's some clouds in the far distance just south of me that are starting to kick off. So, yeah, we'll see how this one turns out. I've come down a little lower, hopefully to block a little bit of the wind. I'm not sure how that's going to work. So right now it's proving to be a, a futile judgment. So. I'm gonna take this image now that we're starting to get some color in the sky because, oh, how is it? <laughs> it's, it's right around sunrise. So I got a few minutes till, but I really wanna capture these colors, even if it's not the best composition. At least I, I'm putting some layers in my image. I really think that's gonna do it for me. Not very many options, at least not that I could find. Granted, I didn't walk the entire beach because this beach is like two, three miles long. There's only so much time I had this morning, but definitely a good change of pace for me. Not having to climb a mountain or anything. So I think what I'm gonna do is call it a morning and head back to camp, make some breakfast, but post the images after the video and I'll let you be the judge on how, how they turned out, so. Go easy on me.